Oi America, oi. It's not your typical video, yes it is your typical video. Today I'm doing a review on a 1963 Jamaican half penny. And let me go ahead and before I share my experience, let's go ahead and do the review of the coin first. So it's a Jamaican coin, it's a standardized, standardized coin, it's made from 1955 to 1963. 1963 is the last year of this coin, just like it was the last year of the Benjamin Franklin half dollars before the Kennedy half dollars got got to rolling out in his in his memory of 19 of his assassination of 1963. His his I believe uh, his uh, half half dollar took took over the um, Benjamin Franklin half dollar. Which started out this night in 1964 with a silver only. What a stutter! So it's a one half penny. It could be a one twenty fourth shilling to one one four one four eighty pound one one by one divided by four eighty. The currency is just pound. It's a uh, nickel brass. Its weight is 4.34, diameter is 23, and it's round, a little of mine, metal alignment. Yes, it's being demolitized. And right here, I hope we can get a good view of the queen. The obverse is a portrait of young Elizabeth II to the right. Queen Elizabeth II, that's who that is in the reverse. Let's go ahead and get a good focus, if you will, kindly. It is an alligator on a shield with bedded circle, lettering Jamaica, and the year, which is 1963. Ain't too much to share on this penny. But so far I did, so far I actually visited Jamaica and Bahamas at one point by cruise ship. It was an amazing trip. It was really amazing trip. Bahamas wasn't that bad, but Jamaica, I guess we were probably on the wrong side of it. Then, then uh, you, as you, as I remember, as we toured Jamaica, um, they knew we were tourists, and they, they would. One man came up on me, said, "Hey, I carved this. Have it. Have it. Take a look." I believe they just it's just the way they make a living or whatever how they sculpt and how they make their own jewelry and they just put the jewelry on me and stuff and they're just hoping you'd buy it and all that I mean all you do all you do is just all you're doing is just walking there they just put the jewelry around your neck your necklace or your wrist and they just <clears throat> hope for the best of wanting to make a sale that's that's what I experienced when I went over to Jamaica but but um, for some reason, it seems like Bahamas was for the win. So, sorry, that's just a sad truth about that. But I also did a review of a Jamaican coin, but I didn't do too good of a review on it. All I did is just the background music and just showed it on camera while I was sitting in a car. That was all about the. That was all there was about the Bahamas coin on that on that random video I did. But anyway. <clears throat> Okay, before we get into the bonus coin, let me give you an adver advertisement by the model, by Robert E. Bryant. Born in, Rays Born in Royston, Franklin County, Franklin County, Georgia, Robert E. Bryant moved to Greenwood, South Carolina in 1958 and called this quiet southern town home ever since. He has been interested in aviation all of his life and began flying when he was just 29 years old. Later that age, 41, he received his pilot's license. The same month his daughter Yvette received hers. Though, though he, is wel he is a welder and welding instructor by vacation, he is certainly a pilot by aviation. His experience with aviation has afforded him to meet a number of interesting individuals. 
most notably Robert Morgan, pilot of the Memphis Bell, Charles Duke Apollo 16, the man that landed on the moon, Charles Boland, shuttle commander, Jan Davis, mission specialist, Robert L. Scott, author of God is My Cap Cap Co-Pilot, the living members of the Tusky Airmen and Black Sheep Squadron, and General Charles E. Chuck Yeager, first to break the, s the sound barrier. Another lifelong passion storytelling has led him to publish this second book. His first book entitled Choices as a Collection of Short Stories. His stories came to him with such powerful imaginary and meaning that he believes they must be di divine, divin, divin, divinely, sep divinely inspired. His first story called Just Believe Me was given to him over 30 years ago in, the, in a church meeting and he has since recorded an astonishing 37 more, each equal, detailed, and passionately told. When the story comes to him, he feels compelled and share to share them. They must come out, he says. They must be told. He truly hopes his readers will enjoy the stories and blessed by them as much as he has been blessed by God with them. Okay. That was actually given to me by a random person when I went, when I put my car in a car show. Marianne Mitchell, world renowned fashion model is at the top of her game. Her money, status, and fame have provided her with everything money can buy, everything except true happiness. The model, a second book by pilot and Arthur Robert E. Bryant, takes, takes readers on her emotional journey from revenge to loneliness to fulfillment, set close to Scentic, Asheville, North Carolina, the story takes an interesting look at the blessing of unexpected love, as is the case with all the author's works. The story of the model was first presented or orally and recorded by Bob and Sharon Underwood. Supportive friends of the author. I met three of the Jimmy Doolittle Raiders, one of which was Richard... Cole, the co-pilot for Jimmy Doolittle on Doolittle's Raid. Online at www.authorhouse.com, Google search engine.com, Amazon.com, and www.barnesandnobles.com. You can order the model by Robert E. Bryant online. That's a little advertisement I put in the video because a man walked up to me on it and that was just my decision to advertise on it and for the bonus coin today is gonna be on the 1956 Denver mark the wheat penny I actually found in circulation at a grocery store yes I checked my coins and this was in circulation so on a recap on my 1950s pennies collection I got every I got every year except 1955 and 1950. I got 51, 52, 53, 54, 56, 57, 58, and 59. And the 59, you could actually hopefully one day struck struck rich and find the D mule era like that, and the 59 year right there, which is worth way too much money if you're actually lucky to come upon those one day uh, yeah also the 43 copper penny and the 44 steel penny those are worth a bunch too but I believe the biggest errors you can find with these 56 pennies were on the on the Liberty like the die die errors such as the Liberty as much as that is concerned I believe the highest they mintage was these was 
a billion ninety eight million two hundred and one thousand and the values can go between fifteen cents to six dollars of MS condition and up that's as much as I can say about the D mint mark on that penny okay and we're coming the Bible verse we're coming from today is from Acts chapter 1 verse 8 but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all of Judah Judea and Shemariah Shemariah and unto the uttermost part of the earth so the major focus of the of the book of Acts is stated in this verse note three clarifications about the missions of the church first first the empiring presence is to be the Holy Ghost not Jesus himself Jesus prepared his disciples for the transition when the Holy Spirit would come to be a constant presence in his bodily absence second the growth of the church would come about through the witness of the disciples from the beginning of the church is disciple as decepted as the community that actively witnesses to their faith in Jesus Christ third the result of the witnesses will be measurable geographical growth this growth will begin in Jerusalem and then spread through the ever win windering concretic circles to the other Jewish areas the areas on the edges of Jerusalem and eventually to the entire known world of that time likely co coextensive with the root with the reach of the Roman Empire as new islands and peoples were discovered in the coming centuries the church understood that it must keep expanding its witnesses to reach the newfound uttermost parts so with that being said as much as I have blowed my breath this is Lakeview John out